Hi guys, it's Iris. I have a super duper quick haul to film for you guys. I am waiting on my two friends to get here. Uh, we have been out shopping all day. I have a really quick haul to show you guys, but they're on their way over here now because we are finally going to film the Bean Boozled Challenge. I am super excited. So glad they got on board with it. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul really quick. I was a naughty, naughty monkey today and I am really not sorry about it. Um, First things first, I couldn't, it couldn't be a haul without Dollar Tree items. Um, and honestly, I went to Dollar Tree not even to get any of this stuff. Uh, once again, I went in for uh, some stuff for a gift and said, you know what, let me go check out the cosmetics and just see what they have. And I got another Milani eyeshadow. Uh, this is in the color, I'm sure it's Bella something. This is a silver, Bella Gray, which I feel like is going to be kind of a, a silvery shade, which, I don't know, I kind of wish it was a little bit lighter, but it might might actually swatch it pretty light. So I got that. Um, and I actually had all of the LA Colors Color Balm. Finally, I usually only find one or two shades. They actually finally had every shade, so I picked up a couple of other ones. Um, I got this really light pink. Let me open it. If I can open it very quickly and show you the color. This one's just a really light pink shade. Uh, that color is called Smooch. Uh, and then I got another one that's kind of uh, like a true red. And its shade is Boom. And let me show you. Oh, came out without the top on it. Okay. See, it's just kind of a true red. I don't think the camera really gives it justice. I had to turn the, the living room light off because it gives like a really weird glare. But I feel like maybe that, that doesn't, well that, that helps a little bit. It still is not giving you the true color, but it's like a really bright red. Um, I'm sure it's not going to go on my lips that color. These usually just end up being kind of like a, like, kind of like a sheer, almost like a stain, kind of. Maybe not, stain is not even the right word for it. Uh, but they're really sheer. They just give like a little bit of pop of color. I like to use these um, for work because they're just really quick. Um, I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's 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 get back in because I feel like I, I got out for a second and I don't know what just happened. Uh, yeah. So I got those two. Um, I got another Wet n Wild brush this is the crease brush uh looks kind of fluffy i don't know it might actually be too fluffy because the more i look at this the more i think uh i'm not sure i'm gonna like that to do my crease let's see i don't know it might i don't know it feels okay so it might it might work but it's another one of those um white wet and wild brushes with the pink tips you know the ones that i was looking for um, a couple months ago and I couldn't find anywhere and now lo and behold Dollar Tree has them probably because they got so popular I would venture to say because remember you, me telling you guys when I went out to find them that I even went on Wet n Wild's website and they were sold out of them so I don't know I'm interested to know why these are showing up at Dollar Tree now but I don't care I'm still buying them so if they end up with every one of them, I'm going to end up buying every one of them. Um, two, last two things from Dollar Tree, and then we will move on to my Naughty Monkey madness here. Uh, I got a kind of a purpley, bluish glitter color because, I don't know, I've been... Let me show you guys my nails. I have gotten into doing this accent nail here in the middle. Don't look at my other hand because there are no nails on it. Ha! Ah! I have a hard time growing out my right hand, so <laughs> um, I've been doing the accent nail in the middle, and I like using glitter for that. So I got that uh, purpley blue one, and then I don't know this one. The more I look at it, the more I think it's better for Mardi Gras because it's kind of got Mardi Gras colors in it. There's purple and gold and green and all kinds of glittery loveliness in there. Um, but I got those two. I don't even think that these. Oh, they do have shades on them. I've never actually looked to see if they have uh, shades on them. But this one is called Cheers, if you can see that. And the blue one is called Fancy Pants. I dig that. I use that word a lot. Fancy Pants. Yeah, I do. Okay. 
Naughty Monkey Madness went to Ross um, completely on a whim. I went there last weekend with my husband when he took me shopping all weekend for our anniversary. I don't think I told you guys that. Uh, last weekend, uh, me and my husband celebrated our four-year wedding anniversary. Our anniversary was actually the week before that. Uh, but we waited a weekend. We waited a week to, to celebrate it because we were waiting on paychecks to come in and you know have enough money to go out and have fun we were supposed to go to new orleans to go to the zoo but we ended up shopping instead and um, we went to ross last week and i didn't see well i saw the two things that i was really naughty and bought but i didn't see these shorts they're super cute and i was really i was willing i was in the dressing room trying them on trying them on and i was willing them to not fit because i was like man if they fit i've got to buy them and i don't know they're just really cute and flowy and I mean the camera does not do them justice. They are super duper adorable but they've got this little tie. I don't know if you can see the little tie right here around the belt. But these were only um, I think $9.99 was the price on these. Where's my price tag? There it is. Yeah $9.99 for this pair of shorts. So I dig that. Um, I did go not today I went yesterday to the uh, $10 boutique because they sent me an email that said they were having a 75% off sale. Lies. They were not having a 75% off sale. They had one table of jewelry that was 75% off. One table. And then everything else was like different increments. Like they're having some stuff was buy one get one 25% off and buy one get one 75% off. <coughs> 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 oh my god excuse me that was ridiculous I know that is completely normal that is the way I cough do not be alarmed I am not dying anyway they had like other tables that were like buy one get one 75% off and stuff like that so everything wasn't 75% off but they got me with that freaking email and I went in there and I got a couple of things and they had some new stock in and I was really excited they had some really cute shorts so I bought a pair of shorts and they're the ones that are really in for this summer that have like the, you know, like on the, the sides they have the, uh, I want to call it piping, but it's not really piping. It has little, little ball thingies on it. Uh, we're just going to call it piping for right now because I can't think of what it is, but it's like scallop, not scalloped either. Gosh darn it. I can't think of what it is. Anyway, you know, the ones that I'm talking about that on the edges have the. The frilly stuff. I bought a pair of those and I bought a new dress that's kind of uh, like a khaki green color and it buttons down and it has the belt across it and the sleeves roll up and have the the button up thingy on the side and I didn't try either one of them on in the store because the dress was a 1x and the shorts were an extra large and I thought surely these are gonna fit everything else I've ever bought in here that were those sizes fit me so I'm not gonna try them on got a couple of pairs of uh, jewelry sets and some uh, crystal bracelets um, I can't think of that designer's name that had that made those crystal bracelets and, and the big crystal earrings popular but they're knockoffs of her stuff um, but I came home and tried on those shorts and they would not even come up my thighs uh, <laughs> a little depressed about that not really because I mean I should have tried them on I can't really be mad and then I tried on the dress and it will not go across my bust. So needless to say, uh, my husband needs to jump on getting those gym memberships because I need it. So anyway, I got another pair of shorts since I couldn't wear the ones that I bought originally. And then dun, 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 I was very, very naughty. And I bought me a new Betsy Johnson bag that I think is really, 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 really cute. So, ginormous Betsy Johnson bag, pink quilting thing there, and the black and white stripes, and it's got this, you know, all of her stuff, her, her purses typically have like some kind of obnoxious thing on them somewhere, and these just have like a big poof ball on it. I don't know what the point of it is. It's just something cute. Um, there's also a little change purse, change poise change purse uh dangling from it i'm sure i will probably put that inside the bag but um yeah it's a huge bag so 
I'm digging that. So I got that and left the store, came home, went back out to meet my friends again. And we went to Ulta and then I said, you know what? I'm going back to the other purse. Tell me this is not the most adorable purse you have ever seen. It is so freaking cute. I dig it. I don't know. I think I have something for the black and white stripes and the pink accents. <laughs> but I got that one too. Both of these were very, very inexpensive. I don't know if you guys are very familiar with Betsy Johnson. Most people are. But Betsy Johnson's stuff is typically not very cheap. It's actually pretty expensive. And she has always been my very favorite designer. But uh, this big one was originally... It retails for $78. It was at Ross for $29.99 for this ginormous thing here. Yeah, yeah, not bad. And then this other one that I fell in love with first and ended up buying the other one because I said, oh, the other one is bigger. And I kind of need a bigger purse. I don't know if this one's going to be big enough. So I picked, I put this one down and picked the, put, picked the other one up. And then I went back for this one that retails for $98. It was at Ross for $34.99. Now granted, I buy all of my, my Betsy Johnson bags at Ross because they're so inexpensive. Granted, they are inexpensive because they're usually like two or three seasons old. Who cares about what season they came from? I certainly don't. Certainly, I certainly don't. <laughs> So yeah, got that bag, got the other bag, got some shorts, got some stuff from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to wrap this up and say see you very soon because my friend should be walking in the door any minute and we are going to film our Bean Boozled Challenge. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really just kind of filler. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> Because I really didn't plan on even filming this as a haul. I really didn't. I just I decided, you know what? I got all this really cool stuff today. And I kind of want to share it with my peoples. So I'm sharing it with you. And I'll be sharing another video of me and my friends eating very disgusting jelly beans very shortly. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Catch me next time. Bye.